Listen to some of the best in modern audio drama right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. The Commons. A landscape free for the ideas, sketches, and correspondence of the listeners and creators of the Mutual Audio Network. You are invited to a realm of audio drama where one moment can seem like an eternity. It's previously on. Previously on, previously on. The program was briefly interrupted by listener comments. Among the sacks of correspondence, a few stood out. There was one from Orson Welles who basically said our program was... But he was kind enough to add that it was... Absolute shit is what it is. I hate it, you see. I hate it. I knew that was... Let me be modest. When I was a... For... <laughs> and I was so... Happy after the World War when people started writing other... Things. There goes another one of those... Down. This touched us deeply, especially since Mr. Wells has been dead for well over 34 years. Thank you, Mr. Wells. You made our day. We also received comments from Xi Jinping, President of China, Albert Frick, President of Liechtenstein, and a pantomime caricature of Gary Busey, famous Hollywood actor. Unfortunately, none of these comments appeared to be in English, and we tossed them out. Here at the previously on home office, we pride ourselves on our skills at communicating, but have limited these superpowers only to the English language, some Spanish, and a wee bit of Canadian. Sorry about that. That was Canadian, amigo. Dear PO Management, I strongly disagree with your implication that Canadians go around apologizing for everything. We are a polite people and are nothing like the boorish uncultured clods who live to our south and a few who live to our west. If, as a boorish uncultured clod, you feel that this is an unfair description of yourself, I am sure you are an exception and I apologize if you were offended. Oh, darn it. Can you cut that last bit out? Oh, sorry. Oh, not again. Please, stop the recorder. Signed, Ram T. Canadian. (sighs) Dear P.O. Management, as a boorish, uncultured clod residing south of the beautiful, unoffensive land of Canada, I only have one thing to add. Dear PO Management, I do not like this episode as it's completely derivative and a poor hack of the great Monty Python's Flying Circus. You, and I use the next term in quotes, audio entertainment creators need to come up with more original content. Signed, and agony gripes about everything. Next time. And never let you get in a word edgewise. Next. See? I told you. <clears throat> What's that? A 16 ton weight? How is that possible? Next time on Previously On, we attempt to contact those who write letters to us and read them aloud. Unless that was this episode. And in that case, we'll do something completely, but not derivative or a cheap hack job of something very, 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 very different. This episode of Previously On was written and produced by Rich Froelich. It was narrated by Brian Douglas and featured the voice talents of Rich Froelich, Pete Lutz, Pam Meister, and Persephone Rose. Music licensed from Storyblocks Audio. Sound effects provided by the Texas Radio Theater Company, Sound Ideas, and the Free Sound Project. This is a co-production of the Mutual Audio Drama Network and the Texas Radio Theater Company in association with RF Media at rfmediapro.com. For more daily helpings of modern audio drama, please check out mutualaudionetwork.com. Thanks for listening, and remember to watch more audio.
The Commons is a free service and opportunity to share with you. To add your voice to The Commons, send an MP3 or WAV file to mutualaudio at gmail.com. That's mutualaudio at gmail.com. M-U-T-U-A-L-A-U-D-I-O at gmail.com. We love your feedback about anything on Mutual and are thrilled to share your ideas, your thoughts, or skits in our forum. See you next time in the comments. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Hey there, Doc. I've got a present for you. Dr. Jonathan Spacer conducting postmortem analysis. So you're the coroner, the mortician, and the damn cleanup brigade if I need you to be. You got it? Case number 1328. Am I... am I dead? File number 3367. I'm dead, John. This is about the last amount of fun I'll have. Case number 1017. Number 2829. Case number 0477. I, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. He took this away from all of us! 31-year-old female, pronounced dead on the scene approximately 3 a.m. after a 911 call. Not dead. I can't be dead. I am not dead. Not dead. The devil's in the details. And right now there are a few that aren't adding up. <laughs> Screw you! That's my head. That's my head on a spike! You don't have my permission. I don't need you. I can figure out everything I need to know just by looking at your body. Nice lie, Doc got anymore. There's a kid. He says he thinks he killed someone. He wasn't supposed to be here. You've overstepped your bounds on multiple occasions so far. I've helped you solve so many cases already. You were the one saying ghosts always want something from you, but I think it's you who wants something from everyone else. Welcome to Springfield, Doc. Enjoy your stay while it lasts. How I Died Coming July 2019. You can do this. Deep breath. It's fine. The traffic. Ah! Ah! The boss. A baby! A baboon! That does it! AD, take me away! Lose your cares in the luxury of a warm audio drama. AD softens the calluses on your soul, leaving you feeling silky smooth as it lifts your spirits. The soft, luxurious, and fragrantly sonic world of audio drama. It's like no other aural experience. Audio drama. I love it. Pamper your soul with an audio drama. Nurture yourself in narrative. AD. Now with dynamic panning crystals. Available on the Mutual Audio Network or wherever aural narratives are sold. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.